What's new? Um, new here is um, I'm doing more exercise. I'm trying to be a little healthier about things. Um, my uh, I, I'm, uh, but I'm. It's making me tired to be more healthy because <laughs> I do a lot of exercise. I walk ten thousand steps a day, and then by the end of the day, I'm exhausted. Because I do channeling all day, and then I'm like, Ugh. but I'm I'm good in the morning until about four in the afternoon. Oh, same with me. Yeah, I take a nap at that time. I can't. I have sessions that go till six. What else? What what other business is happening? Uh, let's see. Um, well. Things are pretty much status quo. It's the same as usual. Uh, I haven't been going out much. Don't eat at restaurants. Um, don't go, try to not to go to the store very often. So everything's sort of me, me, me sitting here, you know. So that's sort of boring sometimes. But um, the channeling makes it better. And... When at nighttime, I can watch TV and stuff, so that's not too bad either. But between sessions and everything, it's sort of eh, okay. How are you doing? Um. Okay. Um. Let me think. Oh, great! I'm doing great. Uh, there are scientific discoveries that one is already hatched so i'm pretty confident about it it's like pretty pretty great and uh, it's about uh, the um, uh, uh, we now see the nice connection correlation uh, between the clouds of protons and electrons in dna and the mutations essentially uh, the signal is very, very um, practically useful. We can see the very consistent signal saying that mutations, all the mutations in humans are non-random. Not all, lots of them are non-random. Like people would think that mutations are random and it's not the case. The mutations are not random. Huh? And that's like a big breakthrough in science. Um, the mutations are um evolving in such a way to maximize the chains of electrons in DNA so make the chains of electrons longer and make a make a cha make the chains of protons shorter and can they be can they be changed so they don't uh, turn into something negative Our ability to modify the DNA sequence in, in the body is uh, very primitive at the moment, and there is more harm than, than good by changing that. Right. But um, that practical, practically, what does it mean is that First, the whole biology changes because we now understand the importance of electrons and protons and their uh, chains. Because, in, uh, I mean, that's one of the strongest evidences I have that resonance biology is uh, practically important. Because the nature, nature cares, the evolution cares, so that's some, it's something functional. So that's just a proof, just a theoretical proof. The second thing is, uh, once we know that resonance biology is important, then the resonance medicines become important. And there is already a lot in resonance. So it's more like, uh, not political, but it's uh, philosophical and political evidence. It's more like evidence than anything else. Correct. So, um, but, uh, but then, um, if there are resonances, then you can modify them by sending some waves. So that's... So you don't change the DNA sequence, but you change the resonances. 
that's a oh, you know cool. that's therapy Great. therapy is it just a proof that therapy is possible i mean there is a big gap between actually understanding that it is there and being able to treat it but this gap has been closed from another side by uh people who develop resonance therapy different uh resonance therapy devices so so it's just a that makes sense yeah uh, just a proof that you know th uh, there is dna that there's a proof that dna not not exactly the proof but uh, mm, it's it demonstrates evidence. it's evidence that yep. that likely resonance devices are affecting dna because we now we see that dna has those proton and electron chains which are important so there is much more to learn on in between we don't really know how they're important what do you do but there are theories but there is nothing uh, i have a question yeah sure um dna is all over the body right yep so if dna changes in one part of the body does it move throughout the body to change all the dna or is it localized <laughs> uh, you know in russia there is a uh, there is a anecdote the joke that uh, the uh, students they, they all the students had to go through military training like they had classes military classes and the classes are and the students are pretty smart they're like um, you know university students and the classes are taught by um, military personnel who is traditionally very very uneducated and go by the book so the colonel who is uh uh, teaching says that uh, the cannon cannon is shooting uh, the the trajectory of the cannon um, bullet is or whatever cannon ball is is a, para, a parable it goes like that and the student says uh, so if you put the cannon on the side would it shoot behind the corner <laughs> and uh, the colonel says, you know, he looks at the book and says, you know, the book says that you are not allowed to put the cannon on the side. Understood. So to your question about the science, um, uh, the official science do that. doesn't <laughs> allow to modify the DNA even in one part of the body. Now, speaking about true science, we don't know. The, there is a possibility that DNA actually changes all around the body. We don't know that. There is some official science that studies that. I didn't look at that recently, but uh, they discovered there is some. There are some DNA changes in the body, and they. I just didn't look at the results. I know it's it exists. They started mapping the different parts of the body. What's happening to DNA sequence? And I didn't look at the results, but uh, we know that viruses can uh, move pieces of DNA, small, tiny pieces between the cells. So, so that's that's uh, happening for sure. That you know, when we are infected with viruses, and they bring new little bit pieces, little small pieces, like tiny, tiny. Compared to the genome, it would be one of the one millionth of the genome, or something like that, even smaller, one ten millionth. So we don't know, but uh, uh, there is a possibility that there is much more happening. I just, um, I don't think anybody looked carefully there. Yeah, because my, my thought about uh, the DNA is it would try to affect all the DNA around it so that it would be the same. That it would, that because it's changed, it needs to change the DNA around it so that it, they're all together in the in the body uh that would be my thought that they would all try uh, uh one dna would try to change the dna around it so that it would be the same as itself if there was a specific and uh dominant change i can see that um i don't know it's uh it's 
goes against the, the book for sure. Okay. Uh, the book says that DNA is so stable, nothing can affect it. It only changes when you do uh, go through generations that can mutate the uh, through generations, but not in the, in the same body. Ah, I see. Yeah, we we have a uh, when two beings uh, produce an offspring, they produce a combination of genes, and that's where lots of new variations come. So there is a special mechanism which makes uh, takes very stable sequences from the parents and then mixes them together and produces something very uh, very novel. So most of the variations come from producing offspring, but uh, in the body it's called somatic mutations. You know, people started to study them, but I think it's. It's uh, the DNA is so stable, very little happens in the body except, uh, you know, viruses changing it a bit and uh, a few other things. But these are like exceptions. In healthy body, DNA stays very stable. Okay. So the second discovery we are we are making it's it's very early, but uh, we look at uh, again the proton chains and electron chains in DNA and correlation of those with a specific, uh, it's called traits, but essentially it is uh, qualities of, of the individuals. Uh, it could be physical qualities or psychological qualities. I just so far, I looked only at one. It was a risk-taking ability, psychological ab uh, um, ability to take risks or uh, preference for risks or no risks, conservative or versus risk, risk taken. And I see a nice uh, correlation there, but it's very pre preliminary. I need to look lots more in different um, data sets. It's like the first one I looked. But for me, it's a, a great step forward. I, just the ability to look at this uh, is already like, it's me methodically, like method-wise, it's it's great to be in a position when you actually can look and compare the the change of char ch chains of charged particles like electrons and protons with with something uh, important as be important as behavior. So, cool. I'm very very excited about this moving through, moving cool. uh, this progress. It's very preliminary though, but uh, you know there are about maybe a thousand studies like that, maybe more. So there is lots more to look at. It's called genetics. Uh, yeah, it's called genetics. So I'm looking, combining now my uh, resonance theories with uh, human and non-human genetics, like mouse genetics, human and mouse. There are some, you know, Drosophila genetics. So we'll be looking at human, mouse, and Drosophila. Wonderful. That sounds good. It sounds like you're doing really uh, interesting and uh, <laughs> forward-moving work. And this this time, this both. Uh, projects, sub-projects, I guess, uh, are practically useful to existing scientists. So I'm now stepping on territory which is heavily populated. Okay. Until now, we were playing like by, the, by ourselves. We played with so remote things like resonance in DNA. Nobody really cared about it. But uh, uh, genetic studies, there is like I estimate about half a million scientists, PhDs who work on that. So I finally like step on somebody's territory and uh, once they see the results, they might be alarmed if they notice, if they, if they notice. And if it is real, then uh, then uh, attention will turn to my works, which I should be ready. I mean, right now I'm like, la, 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 la. I'm publishing, nobody reads it. So eventually they, they will read it. And um, in Russia, we say they will fall off their chairs. <laughs> so they will fall off their chairs because it's it's um, it's that mind blowing for them. Well, it's revolutionary, yes. Yeah, for them, it's mind blowing. Such as yeah, psychiatric genetics. Psychiatric geneticists will be the, the minds of psychiatric geneticists will be blown. Out. Cool. 
Yeah. Well, I bet your mind was blown when you were discovering it. A bit, yeah, a bit. Yeah, I'm like. But you knew where to look. Elated, elated, yeah, like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm always trying to say, yeah, that's expected. That's what we were looking for, and now we found it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were certainly well, looking good. for that. Now we, we found at least some, some, some of that. Excellent. That's so. What I, I immediately as soon as I got the result, I started. Um, looking for for money and um, I, uh, I recycled one of my companies it's called Solana Solana genomics uh, Solana means uh, from Spanish it's uh, the sunny side of the hill or whatever okay. the sunny side Solana means sunny side okay so uh, Solana genomics and uh, I'm now looking for partners and investors um, to produce some software for geneticists because uh, our discoveries can be coded into the software and which could be useful to them to look at their data and what we will do we'll do genome data mining and uh, services and uh, We'll service to provide the service to others and also produce uh, results of data mining, which like jewels. We'll dig ju. You don't dig jewels. You dig uh, uh, precious stones, I guess. Precious, right. precious, Gold, platinum. Pre yeah, yes. yeah, precious elements and 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 stones from the genome and sell them individually. So it's a it's a, a nice project and. Uh, I, Excuse me. I st started actively promoting it actively uh, in the night of New Year, and oh, uh, there is some uh, some activity. People are contacting me, and I, initially I was overwhelmed with the response from people who look for uh, to be part of it and uh, sort of earn some living from that but um, I'm looking for someone who is actually fun to work with and uh, some, someone cool and also uh, trusted which is hard to find people who could actually trust and capable of raising money and actually driving the business side of the business um, so things started to come together so I see I see how they start to come together well that's good uh, at least you're making progress and there are people interested out there in what you're doing and so looks like you're going to proceed pretty well I would think the advantage of the project is that it's software and it doesn't require any approvals so it's much easier to do genome data mining rather than therapy because for therapy you you step to on too many regulations and interests with genome data mining the the playground is pretty much open to anyone to to actually do something there and offer something there so that's the advantage for investors they they like something quick yes is that an airplane Oh, I can, I can, yeah. It's an airplane, it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, because we That's are, a... when we're in Skype and Skype doesn't filter out airplanes. Zoom, like, aggressively filters out airplanes, so you won't even hear right. it. Uh, did you move yet? Yeah, we moved, uh, yeah, we, we moved. Did completely. you like your new place? Um. Uh, all is cool. There is a nice view here. You can oh, see I... a lot of a lot of sky. Sky. Oh yes, that's nice. Just a second. It doesn't focus by some. Oh, that's okay. No, it didn't focus, but I saw a lot of sky. Yeah, there is a lot of sky. So what I'm saying is, um, all is cool. We have moved to a uh, cheaper neighborhood. It still looks reasonably safe, but um, 
and we are in a very populated building, so on the third floor. And uh, much of the time, I smell either cigarettes, nicotine, or marijuana. People smoking, <laughs> and for the air, and there is no wind for some reason. For, since we moved here, there is no wind. So whatever people smoke or speak, it all comes to the open window. Um, oh. So hopefully the wind will start and we will uh, have a fresh air. But uh, it looks like we have lots of air, but, you know, it's always... Uh, uh, I, I don't mind what you want to smell, but nicotine smell is sort of brings you down a bit. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, it's not even nicotine. It's the structure of the air that changes. You, you don't get much of nicotine or smoke. It's just the smell. Yeah, the smell is not a good smell. Hmm. It's a harsh smell. So, yeah, that would be that would be a downfall. But it looks like you. Uh, the place is nice. Um, it's smaller, so we have to give away and trash lots of stuff. Like half of the, our belongings, we'll have to give away or trash because we just uh, swamped with all the. With the, I can see. Can you see it? Oh, I know. It's Skype filtering out. It's a feature. It's not a problem with the Skype. It's a feature. Just a second. How do you do this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you go to the settings, I think, and go to the visual. Now you can see stuff. See, it's ah, uh, yes, that, it's yeah, a lot, lots of lots of uh, belongings. Yes, I I have to start getting rid of some of my stuff too. And I just need my to go. My little place is getting cramped, more and more cramped. I have to go through boxes and basically give away or, or. Uh, well, I was trash. planning to do a. This summer, I was planning to do a garage sale. However, with the COVID, uh, I didn't think anybody would come, so I didn't do it. So maybe next summer, after a lot of people are vaccinated, and they'll come to a garage sale. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, we use, uh, there is a Facebook group so-called uh, Buy Nothing, and they basically encourage sharing of stuff for free. So we use a bit of that. You kind of, if there is something which is very useful, you just give it to oh. someone and they come and pick it up. Oh, that's nice. You don't sell it, you just give it away? I know selling in America is, uh, in any capitalist system, selling is so difficult. You know, to sell something, <laughs> it's like you have to spend lots of valuable, I just don't have that time. Understood. I better, you know, yeah, I better do, do my signs rather than be selling stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Your science is more important than that. Absolutely. 